Hi, my name is Katie. I'm part of the team here at Riley Hospital for Children at Indiana University Health who take care of kids during their surgery. In this video, I'll show you around the hospital and talk to you about what to expect when you arrive here at Riley Hospital for Children for your surgery. We'll also discuss some things you should do the day before your surgery to get prepared. The first thing you should know is that your parents, grandparents, or whoever brings you to Riley Hospital can remain close by the entire time you're here. And you will always be surrounded by a group of doctors and nurses who are committed to caring for you. Let's begin by talking about what will happen before you arrive. A nurse will call your parents to remind them of the date of your surgery. The nurse will also ask them some questions about you and your health. These same questions will be asked again many times after you get here. Double checking this information helps us make sure we are taking the best possible care of you. The nurse will also remind your parents that you should not eat before your surgery. This is because the medicines we use require an empty stomach. So no eating or drinking, including cereal, candy, milk, or fruit juice for at least six hours before surgery. The night before your surgery, take a shower or bath before bedtime and be sure to get a good night's sleep. It's important that you arrive at Riley well rested for your surgery. When you come to Riley, remember that you can bring a favorite toy, blanket, or stuffed animal with you. When you arrive at the hospital, your mom or dad will let our doctors know you're here by checking in at our front desk. A Riley staff member will greet you and then measure how tall you are and how much you weigh. You and your family will then be seated in a room to get you ready for surgery. The nurse will give you special clothes to wear. They look similar to pajamas. The nurse will also take your temperature, listen to your heart, and take your blood pressure. This is done by taking a band and placing it around your arm. The band will squeeze your arm a bit, but it doesn't hurt. Next, we'll place a sticker that lights up on your finger. This helps us check the oxygen in your body. You'll be able to read or play for a bit before your surgery. A child life specialist will be available to help you prepare for surgery. They will tell you what to expect and help you understand each stage of your surgery. If you're going to sleep for surgery with the anesthesia mask, they will help you pick out your favorite flavor for your mask and show you how it works. While you're playing, your doctors will come by to talk to you and your parents. You'll meet one doctor who is called an anesthesiologist. This is the doctor who will help you go to sleep before your surgery and wake up after your surgery is done. The other doctor you'll meet is the person who will actually do your surgery. This doctor is called a surgeon. Both doctors will tell you and your parents what will happen during surgery and answer any questions you have. After meeting your doctors, a nurse will come and take you to the room where you'll have your surgery. You might walk back to the room or you may ride in a bed with wheels. Your parents will not be able to come with you when you go to the surgery room, but don't worry, they'll go to a room close by to wait for you while you're with the doctors. When you get to the surgery room, you'll see a lot of people in blue outfits wearing masks and hats. These are special hospital clothes that doctors and nurses wear to protect you from germs. You'll also notice the surgery room has a lot of big machines and equipment, including two large arms that come down from the ceiling with big circular lights. These bright lights will help the doctor see really well during your surgery. The room will also be a little noisy with people talking and machines running. If you have a favorite video or song, we may be able to play it on our big screen TVs when you come into the room. Your doctors and nurses will then help you up onto the bed you will be lying on for surgery. If you want, they will even cover you with a warm blanket. Once you get settled in, the nurses will put stickers on your tummy and back. These stickers connect to a monitor that provides the doctors with information about your heart and how well you are breathing. All these machines and monitors can seem a bit overwhelming, but all of them help your Riley team take care of you during your stay. Now the doctors and nurses will help you go to sleep. Unlike when you're at home, you won't have to try to fall asleep. Our doctors will give you special medicine that helps make you tired. Sometimes you'll go to sleep wearing a mask. The mask looks like this, and it goes over your mouth and your nose. The inside is soft, so it should feel comfortable on your face. You'll still be able to talk and breathe with the mask on. This mask can be flavored by placing chapstick on the inside, close to where your nose will be. We have several flavors of chapstick, including strawberry, orange, and bubblegum. You'll get to pick your favorite flavor before going to surgery. 
The mask will be connected to a hose that pumps in special air, which is what helps make you sleepy. The air in the mask may be a bit stinky at first. Soon, you'll start to feel tired and fall asleep. Some kids go to sleep with something called an IV. It looks like this. An IV is a tiny tube that connects to your body to allow doctors to give you special medicine. In this case, the tube will carry the medicine that makes you sleepy. On the end of the IV is a small needle. This needle is used to place the tube in a vein in your hand. The needle may hurt a bit when it pokes your skin, but don't worry, it won't be there for long. Remember, our nurses are there to keep you comfortable, so let them know if anything hurts. Once the IV is connected to your arm, we'll take the needle out and throw it away, leaving only this soft, flexible piece. The IV tube will then be taped to your hand and will remain there until it is time to go home. If you go to sleep with a mask, you'll have an IV too, but the doctor will put it in once you are asleep. This IV is important because it helps the doctor send fluids to your body to help you stay healthy during your surgery. While you are sleeping, your parents will be in a waiting room that is close by. The waiting room is a comfortable place with areas for siblings to play and plenty of electrical outlets. A nurse will visit your parents frequently to update them on how you are doing during your surgery. After your surgery is done, your parents will meet with your surgeon in a private room. This is the doctor who performed your surgery. The surgeon will give them an update on how you're doing and let them know what needs to be done next while we continue to take care of you. After your surgery, the doctor will take you to the recovery room. You won't remember this because you'll still be sleeping. Once you wake up, you'll probably feel a little groggy and sleepy. Your mouth may feel a little dry and your stomach may not feel very good either. If you're thirsty, your nurse can bring you a drink of water. Later, if the nurse believes you are feeling well and can have a snack, you may get to eat some jello or a popsicle. Soon after you wake up, you'll be able to see your parents. Make sure to tell your nurse or family if anything is hurting so we can take great care of you. After we know you're feeling better, the nurse will take you back to another room with your family so you can continue to rest. Sometimes, kids who have surgery get to spend the night. In that case, they're taken to a room in another part of the hospital. This room will have a TV and games to play. Most of the time, kids get to go home the same day as their surgery, so you'll likely be taken to a room that looks a lot like the first room you had when you arrived. The nurses will continue to come and check on you, taking your temperature, listening to your heart, and checking your blood pressure. And your mom or dad will remain close by. When we're sure you're feeling better, we'll help you get ready to go home. We'll take off the tape on your hand and remove the IV. You'll also get to change back into your clothes and a nurse will go over care information with your parents and answer any questions. Finally, don't forget to take your favorite toy or stuffed animal back home with you. Then, when you're ready, you can ride in a wheelchair if you like or have mom or dad carry you out. If you have any questions about your surgery, you can ask any of our nurses or doctors or you can talk to your mom or dad and they can ask for you. It's a good idea to talk about this video with your parents before surgery so that you both know what to expect. If your parents have questions, they can find answers in the Riley Hospital for Children Surgery Guide located on our website at iuhealth.org slash Riley slash surgery. And if you want to come to the hospital before your surgery to see everything we talked about today, just give us a call and we can arrange a visit. If you have the chance, you also might want to check out some books from your local or school library about going to the hospital. We look forward to seeing you soon at Riley Hospital for Children at IU Health. We're going to take great care of you and your family.